Hey, what's up, my friends? Coach Benji back for another one of your on-demand workouts. Uh, today, it's going to be our Forge ABC workout, also known as alignment balance and coordination. Uh, today's workout is going to focus on your alignment, think about your plank through movement. Also, we're going to challenge your balance in this group. So we'll be working with some single leg balancing movements, just working on some stability, working on your posture. Um, a lot of what's going to happen today, well, actually all of what's going to happen today is going to be time-based. So you're going to be working at 30 second intervals. You have about 10 second transition in between. All the exercises you're going to be using one dumbbell or center mass bell, kettlebell, whatever you have at home, or they can be body weight based. Now, the key is not necessarily doing the heaviest thing in the world, moderate load, something can challenge you, but the key is perfect movement, perfect execution of each and every movement. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start the clock. We'll go through a brief, about 90 second warm up. If you need more time, pause the video now, do a little more extended warm up. Come back in when you're ready, hit play, and we'll go ahead and get you to today's workout. All right, here we go, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is a nice little squat to walk out. So feet my shoulder apart, squat down, lift your hands at the floor, walk all out, tap the plank, stick in the plank, shoulders out of the ears. Bend the knees, roll, crawl all the way back in, heels down, butt down, eyes up, stand up. So if you're looking from a side view, you want to squat down, you're gonna walk all the way out, Bend the knees, walk all the way back in, heels down, butt down, stand up. Keep working through your pace. Very nice. Good. Next exercise we're going to move on to flexible dynamic quad stretch. Heel a little butt, stretch out that quad. Opposite hand, you reach up towards the ceiling. Give you a little bit of counter balance. Get nice and long. Squeeze in that opposite glute, extend through the hips. That way we get you to a little bit more hip extension here. Perfect. Good, working back side to side. Now we're gonna transition to some lateral hip openers. We're gonna do a nice wide stance, toes point straight ahead. You bend your right knee, get heavy into the right heel. Then try all the way to the left. Hold up for about one or two count. Working back and forth from side to side. As you see your hips just in the same plane, there's no stand up between. You're gonna feel this in your inner thighs. You're gonna load up that glute and that line pattern. Keep working back and forth here for another 10 seconds. Again, you need a little more warm up, pause that workout now. Go do each workout at least three, each exercise at least three more times, and then we'll get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do today is gonna be a hot knee dumbbell press. Ladies, 10 pounds, hit the 20, guys 15. Go down to half knee position, right knee down, press the weight up over your head, and back down. Nice tight core, press it up. And back down, nice and slow. We control, driving up, punch it to the ceiling, and then pull the weight back down. Now let's transition to the other side. Put your left knee down, right leg is up. If you see, you want to make sure you squeeze that butt cheek, right? Pull the stabilize the hips. You press that weight straight up, straight back down. Free hand stays off the body. You're nice and quiet. The body while you're doing is think about bracing your core. No unnecessary movement. You guys keep going. You got about another 10 seconds of this. Can you press that weight all the way to the top? I got time my shoes here. I'm still working on time my shoes here. Something that I've been very proficient at. All right, let's take a quick little break here. Next exercise we're going to do is a split squat. This could be done with or without weight. Without weight, you go to that goblet position here. Right leg forward, left leg back with your weight. Take it down, back up. Let's get to it. If your knee can tap the ground, that's great. Not put down as low as you possibly can. We're going to get in depth. Staying nice and tall. No hinge in the hips like this. As you see, you can take the weight away. Take it down, back up. Find the challenge that you need. You've got about another 10 seconds here. Keep dropping the weight down, and back up. Getting nice and tall. Nice and slow control. No need to rush the pace. All right, guys, let's go ahead and transition to the other side. Let's go left knee, left leg out, right leg is back. Again, take that knee down towards the ground and back up. As you can see, ear stays back on your shoulder, shoulder stays back over your hips. We want to think about keeping your plank as you go up and down, up and down with control. Don't rush the movement. Remember your goal here. It's a perfect rep. You've got five more seconds before we'll transition to another exercise. Good, all right. You got 10 seconds here. Grab a quick single wide if you need it. Next exercise we're gonna do is our plank reach. 
You're gonna take that plane place out front, find that form of blank. We're gonna do this for 60 seconds. We hear, tap, keep the hips square, reaching out, tapping, tapping. For more of a challenge, bring your feet in close together. As you see, it becomes more stress on your obliques to keep your hips from rotating. So if you feel your hips are rotating too much, wide your feet out outside the shoulders, gives you a little more base support, you're a lot more stable. This is not your plank. Plank, think about your alignment. Ears, shoulder, hips, knees, ankles, all are gonna make one line. You got about 20 more seconds, let's keep working through this. Options always, you can work from your knees too. Let's get, keeping your plank. Knees, hip, shoulder, ears, all stand a straight line, keeping that alignment. Five more seconds. Good, let's take a quick little break here. You got about another 10 seconds. We're gonna go to each one more time, one more time here. All right, so you got an idea of what the first two exercises are gonna look like. You can do that center mass bell, dumbbell, kettlebell. You can use a gallon of water. Just grab something. Someone's gonna challenge you. Maybe it's your kid, who knows? Hopefully they don't wiggle too much. You're gonna do this for 30 seconds. We're gonna go back to half kneeling dumbbell press. All right, let's go left knee down, right leg is up. Let's get back to it. Press the weight straight up, straight back down. Nice tight core. I'm gonna turn it to the side here because I want you to bring something to guys' attention. The challenge you guys a little bit more is think about keeping that black toe pressing to the ground. Staying nice and tall here. This right here is easy. We didn't sign up for easy, right? We want to be challenged. So challenge yourself. Put that toe on the ground, create a little more unstable surface. Go ahead and relax. Let's switch sides. Turn and grab that other side now. Again, brace the core, free hand off the body, punch the weight up and back down. We are nice and quiet. No movement in the body whatsoever. You got 10 more seconds, come on now. That's three more good reps. Here we go. Five seconds, come on. One more good rep, you guys got it. Good, and relax, all right? Split squat, let's go back to that split squat again. Again, with or without load. Let's go right leg forward, left leg is back, and get to work. Good, nice and slow, and control. As you see, I'm not in a hurry here. It's 30 seconds. We don't care about how many reps you get done. What we care about is how good each rep is done. Quality will always outweigh quantity each and every time. You got 10 more seconds here. Let's keep working through this. Chase the perfect rep, not the next rep. Three, two, one. Good, let's switch sides. Left leg forward, right leg is back. Bend the right knee. We're straight down. You're straight back. Good, nice and quiet, and control. Find that perfect movement. Halfway home now, 15 more seconds. Let's keep working through this. Good, very nice. Stay with it now. Come on, eight seconds. Here we go, three, two, one. Good, we got your split squats done. Let's go to the final of the three exercises for this first, your first pod. Back tap, plank reach. Take that off and place up front. Let's hit that plank now. Reach, extend, top, and back in. Elbows come back so they're stacked in your shoulders. Think about your alignment. Be very deliberate in your movement. Just don't move for the sake of moving here. Think about how perfect I can be in the execution of each and every rep. You got about 35 seconds left. I know this sucks. But you can get through this, all right? You have to drop down your knees to work the whole minute, do so. But let's make sure we're getting everything done as perfect as possible. 20 seconds here, let's keep it moving. Come on. Reach, reach, reach. Hips are square, booties tight, hold in your plank. Come on, you got eight seconds. You can do this, stay with me here. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. First pod's out of the way now. We'll move on to your second pod. Again, 
Three exercises, we're gonna do each one for a minute each. We're gonna start off with single leg RDL, move on to a little plank row, then sort of side plank hip drop, all right? Again, the weight should be the same, or you can pick up some heavier if you need to, but realistically, the weight is not as important as the quality of what you're gonna get done here. First exercise, single leg RDL. Weight's in your right hand, left leg is planted. We're hinging the hips, taking that weight down towards the toe, hips stay square, standing yourself back up. Soften that knee as we reach down towards the toe and back up. Feel that load in your hamstring, in your glutes. Back toe stays pointed to the ground. We don't want the hip to open up, so stay nice and quiet. Good, one more. All right, let's switch sides. Take the weight, pushing the left hand. Right foot's down, chest stays nice and square, and drive back up, squeeze the butt up top. Finish the move. Don't stop here, get through it. Let's stick that landing here. Perfect, come on now. 10 more seconds, That's two more reps. I'm with you here. Good, nice and controlled. Feel that load. Three, two, and one. Now we have your plank row. So basically we're doing a single arm row from your plank position going back to that core, all right? So high plank position, chest over hands, bracing the core. We'll do a single arm row to rib cage, set it back down with control. Nice and square again. The closer your feet are together, the more challenging this will be. So you see my hips start to cheat, not cheat. I don't want to cheat, so my feet, my feet are stay shoulder apart. I'm gonna keep my row. Keep it in control. So keep working through this now. You got another five seconds. We're gonna switch arms here. Three, two, one. Get the switch side. Place the right hand down. Grab with your left now. You may find that one side is a little easier than another. Completely common here, folks. We tend to be more stable, more balanced on one side of the body than we are the other. You got 15 more seconds. Let's keep working through that left arm now. Let me get to work too. Let me stop talking. Need to get my work done. Here we go. Come on. We got five seconds. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Good. Your last of the three exercises now is going to be a side plank hip drop. Go to that side plank position. Left side down. Put the elbow set to your shoulder. Go up to your side plank. Take that free hand and you reach up. More hand to hip. Drop the hip down so it taps the water. Then you're back up. Again, get back in alignment. Chin out of the chest. Focus straight ahead, not looking down. You still want to keep that plank. Pop the hip down and back up. Good, there you go. Come on, we got five more seconds. We'll switch sides. Good, work into those obliques. Get back to that plank. Three, two, and one. Now let's turn to the other side. Right elbow down. Again, elbow stays stacked over your shoulder. We'll keep that strong plank. Hip tap and up. Okay, come on, you got 15 seconds. Let's keep working through this. Come on, all the way through. We've got 10 more seconds. We're almost done with these people. Come on, you got another 100 seconds of work. 100 seconds of work left in this workout. That's about it. Good, and relax. Go, we got 30 seconds to rest. Wait, not 100 seconds. My math is terrible. Good Lord. 100 seconds. You got three minutes. <laughs> you got three minutes of work left. Uh, that would be 180. Uh, we'll, we'll do a math quiz later. Uh, anyway, let's get ready to get to each exercise again. Towel off, hydrate, whatever you need to do. We're going to start back with those single leg RDLs. You got 10 seconds. Good. Here we go. Let's grab that center mask up. Single leg RDL, left leg down, raise the right hand. Three, two, one. Let's get to it. So one thing I talk about, you'll hear me say a lot in class, your big toe is big when it comes to creating balance and stability. So we're gonna take that big toe, jam it into the ground, press it onto the ground, create a nice base of support. That'll help create ankle stability, which leads to knee stability, which will keep the hips still. Three, two, one, we're gonna switch sides. Good, now I'm gonna do a couple here. I'm gonna take that big toe, jam it into the ground, so I soften the region. As you see, if I want that big toe kind of hover off the ground, it's harder for me to stabilize as I go through this. You start to see my ankle give, my knee wiggles. 
I want to work off a base of support of stability. I start stable, I continue to be stable. If I start unstable, it's hard for me to create stability. Here we go, three, two, and one. Good, all right now guys. We got two minutes left, and your plank rows what we're going back to now. Let's find our push up plank position here. Good, right side only. Straight to your chest is over your hands. You don't want your hand out here. That puts all the load in your shoulder. Let's dig into our shoulders. Let your lats, let your upper torso create stability. Brace the core. Challenge yourself here. Don't make it easy. Make it challenging. No one wants to do easy. You want to do easy? Just hit stop. Go sit back on the couch. Grab a beer. Do something else. You want challenging? Let's go to the other side. Let's put the right hand down. Grab that left, grab the left hand, chest over here, set the plank. Let's do that, bro. Come on. We want to be all in on these efforts now. You don't have a lot of time. We want to break up your day. All I'm asking for is 15 minute commitment from you. Commit for 15 minutes. The rest of your day, do whatever the hell you want. Three, two, one. Good. Final minute of work here. You got your side plank hip drops now. Let's drop that left elbow down. Quick to that side plank. Let's get to it now. Hip, hips to the ground, head back up. Demonstrate control. Let's work with this. Nice and slow. Nice and steady here. Come on. Think about your alignment. Chin out of your chest. Lower the hip down with control and back up. We got 10 seconds left until we switch sides. We're at less than 40 seconds left. Let's finish strong. Three, two, and one. Good. Let's go to the other side now. Right leg, right elbows down. Go up to that side plank. Tap and back with control. Here we go. Don't rush it. Take your time. You got 15 more seconds. Let's work to the clock. All the way through here. I'm with you. Huh. Finish strong. Eight seconds. Here we go. Almost there. In three, two, and one. And you are all done, my friends. Nice job. That's your 15 minute Forge ABC workout. If you feel you still need more, go ahead and go back to the beginning and do this all over. Get another, get another 15 minutes in. You'll definitely feel it's worth your time, your effort, your energy. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Keep up the good work. Leave comments in below. I love knowing what you guys think and how I can make this better for you. So what we're gonna do now is take your right hand up, take your left hand up, give yourself a high five. Nice work, my friends. I'm out.